What's up guys, Extreme Bass. I'm out here putting some work in on the 96 Impala SS. Uh, about to do the rotor change. I had all this stuff done, I thought, but uh, you know these shops. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Y'all know I've been working on the Cadillac. Got it all the way back together again. She's running good, cold air, cruise control. This is a 96 candy red, orange base, house of color paint. You see the orange when the sun hits it, how red the candy apple is. Black perforated leather interior, 22 inch brand new IROX that are dirty from sitting four years, but as you can look at the tires and tell, still have the nipples and all on them. They're brand new, they just ain't been drove and they've been sitting. Uh, got the red calipers to match. I uh, did all that, but didn't have the front rotors replaced. Got the black perforated leather interior with a candy red center shifter in the console, candy red dash, candy red speaker covers, red stitching. Needs vacuum. It's been raining so much here. So let's get started on these uh, rotors. It's real simple. You take your uh, wheel off, make sure you're safe with jack stands, make sure you chalk your tire, take the wheel off, and then you come right here and you take the two bolts out the back of the caliper, take your time, get a flat head like this, stick it down in the caliper if it don't budge that easy like mine. Uh, these brakes have been on here for three years, but you can see how much pads are left <coughs> because this car hasn't been getting driven. But everything looks good, so we're going to take this same flathead that we pulled the caliper off after we took the caliper bolts out. And we're going to walk this little cap here off side to side. And when we get this off, we should have a... Uh, uh, man, that's pretty tight. It's supposed to be. That's pull it around here like this there we go that's the grease in there so when we get this off as you see here you got a cotter pin and you got a bolt now this is still holding grease really well uh, man let me get this broke here not broke what the hell let me get my pliers. Get the cotter pin out. Save it because we're going to put that right back on. Then we're going to get this nut off here. Mosquitoes are terrible. They packed it good with the grease uh, see what size nut we got here all right looks like we got a a big one yeah it's bigger than a bigger than a one inch I'll tell you that this thing's huge So anyway, I'm fixing to go get the right tool. You take the cotter pin out, got it here, you straighten it out and snatch it out with the pliers. Don't suggest doing it with your hand unless you want to cut yourself. If you get that cotter pin out, you basically just take this rotor off, put the new one on, put the bolt back on, cotter pin back on. Make sure you got grease to repack it in there and put your cap back on, mount your wheel back on and go to the next side. It's simple. That's a 96 SS Impala. Chevrolet, Caprice, and I'm sure other models, but I know it's for the Impala and Caprice. And uh, you change the rotor like that. That's it, guys. This is Extreme Bass, and I'm going to give you an update on things, and that's where we're at now. Have a good day.